I'm Ross Jennings and this is Waffle TV sponsored by West Beer. This afternoon we're in the underbelly pasture with David Quirk, who's performing his show at Pleasant's Courtyard at 9.25. Uh, David, you have funded your trip this year in quite a creative way. Have you ever done this sort of thing before? No, absolutely <laughs> not, Ross. I had to think about that one. Um, I, it's called Possible, so you've heard about this? Yeah. It's Australian. Okay. What's the one you told me about before? It's something like WeFund. It's a website where you kind of pitch to the crowd. So there's one in America called Kickstarter, okay. I think. But um, yeah, I, I, I just realised that this was a massive undertaking. I've been over here before, but I just thought I could use some help. And my manager sort of said to me, why don't you do, do a possible crowdsourcing, mm. uh, crowdfunding thing? And I said, as if. My ego is too big for that. I'm not going to let. I'm not. I'm not going to ask for free money. And then about two weeks later, I just thought I need help. I think I could use some amount of help. So I sort of just politely sort of put out a thing saying I'm looking, trying to raise about five thousand dollars. You can lose as much as twelve thousand Australian dollars. Really? Maybe more. Yeah. I'm doing something like this. And I said I just need a little help. Well, if you don't make your your budget, your the target. Yeah. Or if you don't sell enough tickets, or if some people can still sell out their run and still okay. lose money at this festival. That's pretty. That's pretty insane. And you've had but, a good response. You're well over your target. Yeah, I, I, went, I went over the target and I made a stupid video and just sort of shamed myself. People respond to shame. Right. Now, would you say? <laughs> and embarrassment. Would you say that's quite a source for many stand-up comics entertainment? Embarrassing, embarrassing stories. For me, it is. Yeah. For me, um, my whole show is about <laughs> shame. This show that I'm doing is actually about a very serious kind of shame. But uh, yeah, it's what I've done. Sort of self-deprecate a lot and. Um, Analyze my life without saying, God, you wouldn't want to see this show, would you? <laughs> Terrible. Can you tell us a bit about the show without any, without ruining it? Yeah, yeah. Um, it's kind of only two things in this show. It's basically about the time I was last here. Mm -hmm. I came to Edinburgh in 2010, and I had, I left here and I did a very bad thing. I won't spoil it. Yeah. Um, I'm giving I'm giving you. Actually, with my face on the cover, um, and once you see the show, you realise why. It's, other people are apparently giving it condoms for their shows, but this is related to the show. Um, <laughs> it's about that, that mistake I made, and being on a plane with Slash from Guns N' Roses. That's it. That's the whole thing of the show. Sounds, it sounds quite personal. It's, hyper, now, it's hyper personal, yeah. and it's um, it's it's very honest, and it's um, very funny most of the time. Yeah, some of it's not funny. For a comedy show, and how's the reaction been so far? This is your fringe debut. No, no, no. Oh, no. Three years ago, was three years ago, sure. I did uh, two and shows. But how's it been different this year? Oh, uh, I've got. For some reason, I've got good posters this year. People mm. are responding to them, so people are showing up. Yeah, you know, like there's always there's always good crowds. Except for Saturday night. Yeah, I had some really good. Things. And are you flying yourself? Yeah, I get out and do that. I've got some other people helping me, but I get out and meet people. And so it's quite a personal way. It gets gets the crowds involved, and you they see your face, and then they yeah, yeah. You give them, they give them a flyer, or, or they, not, or not. Or they say, it's funny when you go. Would you like to take one of my flyers? And they go, no. You go, no. Just a straight no. But Good on you. I appreciate your honesty. <laughs> uh, maybe you just say no. But it's funny when you sort of go, oh, would you like to fly to my show? And they go, thank you. And then they go. You're the guy! I'm like, <laughs> yes, I'm a human it's, man. Like, I'm out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm out talking to you. So it's, it's a good way of doing it. People like that. Mm. And earlier this year, you won the this Comics Choice Award in Melbourne. 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 And will you be, is that a yearly thing as well? Melbourne Comedy Festival? Yeah, I've done, oh, that five or six times maybe. And because I live in Melbourne, it's, it's, a, it's an easy thing to do. Yeah. Um, but I won that award, and that's that was a pretty awesome thing. It wasn't a big deal, but yeah. it was a cool thing because it's like um, your peers, you know. It's um, some some great English comics have won that uh, when they're in yeah. Australia that I love. Um, a lot of great uh, Aussies have won it, and to be part of that was was really nice because they've got it's literally guys that you love saying this guy should win, and so now next year I get to be one of those guys and say this person should. Win. And will we be expecting you back next year as well? At the uh, I don't know if I can write a show that I think is good like this one. Maybe, yeah. I think it all depends on that. You want to come over with something that's a, that's strong. Even though one guy hated it in a review that I read. Challenges, it. challenges the, the crowd. I think, yeah, it, this is a challenging show. And it's, it, it's not for everyone. Uh, it's, so that's a weird term to say. So it's not for everyone because I don't know anything that is for everyone. Um, but it is a. It, it, it's a different kind of show. It's the kind of show you want to get yeah. straight away. It's not a throwaway kind of show. Yeah. Or a generic. I don't think so. Yeah. Sounds I tried to make it that way.
brilliant. Well, we'll see you there hopefully at 9.25 at the Pleasant Courtyard. This is Ross Jennings from Waffle TV.